I know that fire mixed with water tends invariably to enmity, but it's wet and hot that spawns the lot of life, the incongruency of dissonance and harmony, some sort of subterranean pharmacy. When the earth was coated silty all with mud because of the flood, it was heated by the warmth and generosity of Helicon, aka the sun, and the beautiful blue marble we call earth created life in a variety of forms and dazzling play of adaptations from the micro to the macro running fathomless in number. And in part, she restored the ancient forms and kept their names, but then created creatures new and beastly strange. Maybe Earth was overzealous, Genesis possession. Accomplishments were beautiful, then suffered in regression. Rabbits turned to rats and mice, lions now belligerent. Fishes into venomed rays, the fox became intelligent. But of all the creatures new among the Earth's unholy spawn, the worst of all was definitely the python. The python, the scourge of both the city men and farmers. Devastating fields of wheat, havoc wreaked on goats and sheep. Massive like a moving wall, approximately two miles long. So thick and leathery that the stoutest battle axe bounced back like rubber hitting pavement. Who can kill this evil beast is somehow super serpent? Bring some wine and smoking meat. Apollo likes the liver. Put them there, the statue at his feet. Soon we'll see the glittering god, the god of bow and quiver, standing glorious on the mountain poise. Deliver us, Apollo. Where are you? There he is, taking aim, bending back his giant bow. A hit, another hit. Apollo's arrows never miss. Golden Phoebus flying quickly, hands and bow a blur, filling Python with so many darts, aiming for his many hearts, emptying his quiver and his strength upon the beast who's thrashing, lashing out for life as the ground around him softens, soaking up the thick and reeking blood, black as night and poisonous to touch.